Today, I'm going to show you how synchronizers work in a manual transmission. Now, if I turn the input shaft and hold the intermediate shaft still, you can see that first and second gear are free to spin by themselves. Here's first gear and second gear. Now, if I was to shift into first gear, then it locks in first gear with the rest of the shaft, and notice that second gear can spin at a different speed. So the synchronizer hub on the inside is splined. These splines line up with the shaft and so the synchronizer hub is always spinning at the same speed as the shaft. And the gears can spin independently until they're engaged. When you're traveling at speed, when you go to shift into gear, the wheel speed needs to bring the input shaft to the same speed as the gear so that it doesn't grind when you move your shifter in into the next gear. Alright, I haven't assembled fifth gear into the transmission yet. So fifth gear is allowed to spin freely as long as it's not engaged through these teeth on the side. Notice that the inside is smooth and uh, that'll just spin freely on the shaft until, until it's locked in with the synchronizer sleeve. And now the synchronizer sleeve is pushed in to where it, it engages the gear. So right in, inside the synchronizer sleeve is the synchronizer ring, this brass ring, and it has some, uh, some grooves on the inside that fit nicely against this cone right here. And when you press these together, like a cork in a bottle, they bind together and it's hard to turn them independently. So that friction is what brings the uh, rest of the shaft to the same speed as the gear from the from the wheels. I also want to point out that the, that the teeth on the synchronizer sleeve are beveled and the teeth on the synchronizer ring are also beveled and also the teeth on the gear are beveled so that they will line up easier. Now you'll notice when you uh, put the synchronizer ring on the sleeve that it doesn't exactly line up all the time. There's enough play in here to where these teeth will hit against the uh, sleeve there. When you're actually pushing into the gear shift, that is what is pushing on the synchronizers. And all that, that pressure translates to the, the synchronizer ring to the to the gear it, it can go either either way either faster or slower than the gear so as long as the speed is different you're putting that pressure one way or the other way on this on the synchronizer and this uh, synchronizer sleeve is pushing on the synchronizer ring against the back side of all of these teeth all the way around because they're not lining up. Once the speed is matched, then they can line up. If I'm pushing it against the rotation, it won't line up until I untwist and then they line up. And then that, that little bounce back allows the uh, gears to engage. I hope that made sense to you. I'll keep working on this transmission. I'll get it together eventually and then the gear engages. And I need more oil on this. Still not. Oh, I ground the gears. To where the teeth don't line up. And that way, on the synchronizer ring, that synchronizer sleeve 